Shalom and blessings, children of Yahuwah and the truth. Um, I hope everyone's doing well. We are on video number 48 of Yahuwah's Redemptive Story. Um, and we are on money troubles based on Luke 20, 20 through 26 and Mark, Mark 12, 12 through 44 and Matthew 22, 15 through 22. The Pharisees plot their strategy. They decide to ask a question that forces Yahushua to give a wrong answer no matter what he says. Master, we know you teach the truth. Tell us, is it right to pay taxes to, to Caesar or Kaiser or not? If he says yes, the people will turn against him because they hate to pay taxes. And if he says no, the Roman officials will arrest him for treason. Yahushua knows this is a trick question, so he asks to see a Roman coin. Look at this coin, whose picture, whose picture and words are on it. Caesar's. Give to Caesar the things that are Caesar's. Give to Yahuwah the things that belong to Yahuwah. The Pharisees are not able to trick Yahushua. They admire his skill at answering their question, but they try again later. Which commandment is the most important one? Love the Adonai, your Allahim, with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. And here is the second commandment. Love your neighbor as yourself. You have spoken the truth. To love Yahuwah and to love your neighbor are more important than giving burnt offerings. You are close to Yahuwah's kingdom. Then Yahushua warns the people against doing good deeds just so other people can see them and be impressed. And he speaks. As he speaks, he sees a proud man put a lot of money in the temple offering. Then a poor widow humbly drops two small coins into the offering. The widow has given more than anyone else because she gave everything she has to Yahuwah. After this, Yahusha leaves the temple for the last time. Outside Jerusalem, on the quiet slopes of the Mount of Olives, some of the, the disciples ask Yahusha about the future. Yahusha explains that the gospel will spread through the whole world and then he will come again to judge the world. Sheep and goats, a little bit, based on Matthew 25, 31 through 46. When the Son of Man comes, he will, he will sit on his throne. He will be surrounded by angels. Every nation will be in front of him to be separated like a shepherd separates sheep from goats, the sheep to the right and the goats to the left. You are blessed by my Father. Come and take what is promised to you. When I was hungry, you fed me. When I was thirsty, you gave me, you gave me a drink. When I was a stranger, you welcomed me. When I had no clothes, you gave some to me. When I was sick, you took care of me. When I was in prison, you visited me. Adonai, when we, when did we do these things? This is the truth. When you did these things for the least of my people, you did them for me. Go away from me, you are cursed, and you will go to the devil. When I was hungry, you gave me nothing to eat. When I was thirsty, you gave me nothing to drink. When I was, was a stranger, you did not invite me in. I needed clothes, and you gave me nothing. I was sick and in prison, and you did not help me. Adonai, when did we not do these things? This is the truth. When you did not do these things for the least of my people, you did not do them for me. These people will be punished for eternity, while those who have done what is right will have eternal life. Passover problems, based on Matthew 26, 14 through 25, Luke 22, 1 through 13, and John 13, 1 through 30. Yahushua and his disciples return to Bethany. Later that night, Judas hur hurries to Jerusalem to carry out an idea he's been planning. 
I want to see the chief priest. A man named Judas Iscariot wants to see you. He says it's urgent. Judas Iscariot, he's one of Yahusha's disciples. Show him in. I know how much you want to get rid of Yahusha. What will you give to have, to have him turned over to you, away from the crowds who believe in him? Thirty pieces of silver. After this, Judas watches for the right time to turn Yahusha over to the to the leaders. While Judas is striking a deal with the chief priest, Yahusha is thinking ahead to Passover. Yahusha calls Peter and John aside. Go into Jerusalem and get things ready for the Passover feast. Where can we go so that your enemies will not see us? When you go into the city, you will see a man carrying a jug of water. Follow him home. Ask the owner of the house to show you the room where we can eat the Passover. Peter and John go right away. They find the servant carrying a jug of water and follow him home. Where is the room where Yahushua and his disciples can eat the Passover meal? Come with me. The man who owns the house shows Peter and John a big upper room. There they get ready for the Passover meal. As the disciples prepare to enjoy the meal, Yahushua kneels like a servant to wash their feet. No, Adonai, I'm not good enough to have you be a servant to me. Unless I wash you, Peter, you can't share eternal life with me. After Yahushua washes all the disciples' feet, he sits down at the table again. If I, your Adonian master, have served you, you should do the same for each other. The servant is not greater than the master. Yahushua teaches the disciples, but they don't understand everything he says. Then he makes a startling statement. One of you is going to betray me. Adonai, is it I? The one I give this bread to will betray me. Immediately, Judas gets up from the table and hurries out, but the other disciples do not understand why. And next time we will be reading the Adonis Supper on trial, death sentence, and crucified. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed Yahuwah's um, redemptive story, and um, now it's time to praise Yahuwah. Torah Abba Yahuwah, Torah Rabba, Abba Yahuwah. If you try to hang on to your life, you will lose it. You got to lose that mind of the flesh and walk in the glorious light. But if you give up your life for my sake, you will surely save it. It's what Yahushua spoke to me. If ye be willing and obedient, ye shall eat the good of the land. But if ye shall refuse and rebel, ye shall be devoured by the sword. For the mouth of Yahuwah has spoken.
Mm. Okay. And one more short little one. Yahuwah is with me. Yahuwah is for me. Yahuwah is greater than all of these things. If Elohim is for me, then who can be against me? I love you all with an everlasting love as our Abba Yahuwah loves each and every one of us. Shalom and blessings, warriors of Yahuwah and the truth, children of Yahuwah and the truth.